So for ribbing, it's pretty simple. You have to pay the most attention on your setup row. And here also a little, a little bonus trick. While I'm knitting in the round, I picked up these stitches so I have a loose end here that is not finished at all. I am going to use both of these ends together for a few stitches to secure that loose one and save myself the trouble of having to go and weave it in again later. Just a little, little time saver trick. I am going to be doing a one by one rib, which at the end looks like this. It's knit one, purl one all the way across. So make sure you can see that little fiddly knitting in the round. You just start by knitting or purling, whichever you prefer to do first. I usually just knit first instinctively. And then you want to make sure you bring the working yarn to the front before you purl. And you purl your desired number of purl stitches. Take that yarn back to the back, which I, I just slip it back as I slide that stitch in one fell swoop. Knit another, bring it to the front, purl one, yarn to the back, knit one. I am going to let this loose end drop off now. And I will trim it after I'm done. And then just keep going. And if you get distracted and forget what you did last, just take a good look. You can see here that this was a purl and this is a knit. So my next one in this pattern is going to be a purl. Remember, you can tell the knit and purl apart because the knit is wearing a v-neck and the purl is wearing a turtleneck. Always, always, always making sure you are knitting with the yarn in the back and purling with the yarn in the front. If you forget and you knit one with the yarn, <laughs> I can't even do it if I'm trying. If you knit one with the yarn in the front or say it gets wrapped around that way instead, you're going to end up with an extra stitch and a hole which is not what we want here. So you have to make sure the yarn is in the back to knit. And well, now I'm messing up on purpose. <laughs> in the back. That's how that happens, guys. And then if you try to purl with the yarn in the back, it's going to be weird for one. But if you accidentally loop it around that way instead of bringing it forward, same thing. You're going to end up with an extra stitch and a hole. That's basically just a yarn over, which is an actual technique, but it's not one that we want to be using here for this nice, neat little ribbing. And then you keep going all the way across until you get to the end of your round. And then I will show you when I get back around how to continue with that pattern. Here I am back at the beginning of my round and before I show you the next row I wanted to point something out really quick. Since this is a knit one purl one repeat normally you would do it over an even number of stitches if you are working in the round like I am. But this pattern was written for this trim to be garter stitch. I just went rogue a little bit because I wanted to. <laughs> it's okay to break the rules a little bit guys. So I placed a stitch marker at the center back of the neck. And then I did two knit stitches in a row so that I'm ending on a purl stitch still. And that little, um, that little inconsistency is going to be in a place where no one will ever notice. It might even look kind of cool. So, all right, we're back at the beginning. So there's a knit and then this one is a, so that backwards, this one's a purl, this one's a knit. And remember I used both ends together here. So there's actually two strands there. I don't want to knit those separately. I'm going to knit those together. So same thing, and this time it's a little easier as long as you did your setup row the right way. Just pay attention to what stitch it is and then do the same thing. So that one's a purl, I'm going to purl. That one's a knit, I'll knit. Still making sure that yarn is going back and forth between the front and the back so that you're not ending up with a bunch of yarn overs that you don't want. Okay, now that we're past those ends doubling up. It's a little easier to see. 
there's a pearl, yarn to the front, pearl, and you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that until you're done. Around and around. I'm going to be doing a total of three rows of this ribbing and after that I will bind off, which I will show you in a separate video, the bind off that I like to do sometimes for ribbing. Stay tuned. <laughs> 